Hello, hello. Oof, it has been... Oh, where am I? There I am. Some days. Hello. <clears throat> okay. So, um... Yeah, Pokemon ZA. That's a thing. Hello, we're back in Let's Go, by the way. Uh, we're doing Pokedex stuff today. As much as we can. Not, not trying to finish it urgently, but... Just seeing how much we can do. But, yeah. Well, up, we gotta expand our world real quick. There you go. Now, fly up in the sky with Charizard, Aerodactyl, and Dragonite. Sorry to bug you while you're expanding your world. Honestly, I thought that was really this, this one shot is really funny to me. I don't know why. Hello, Ronnie from Route 1. Yeah, Master Trainers have appeared. <sighs> Alright. Pretty sure we can... Yeah, we can ask him about where the Master Trainers are. Yeah, so today... Today we're just gonna... Today's gonna be pretty chill. We're just gonna be filling out... Whatever we can. How many do we have left? Fifty-seven Pokemon left. That shouldn't be too hard. I think we can get through most of that in a day. Let's see. Reinforce. Arbok. I don't think Arbok spawns anywhere specific. I'm not sure. Yeah, Arbok does not spawn anywhere specific. I'm gonna put an Ekans, a Parasect, and Meowth in my party. We're just gonna like, switch it up a bit. Remove Venusaur. Blastoise. Cliff Fable. And Metal Metal. We're just gonna add a few of these fellows. There. There is... We do need Marowak. So we're going to Cerulean Cave. We're not going to get Mewtwo, but we're, we are going to Cerulean Cave. Duo, we can go to... We already have Dodrio. Hmm. Where's our Paris? I skip over Paris. Paris is yeah, there's Paris. I don't think we have a weeping bell or a victory bell. We have a weeping bell. We don't need to put you on the party. We'll put Kabuto. Add Kabuto to the party. So we can get that Kabutops. Alright, let's head over to Serene Cave. So, oh, hello, Evie. Thank you, Evie. <sighs> I have not been awake for very long, if you could not tell, as usual. So, I remember. Okay, so, Pokemon ZA. Legends game, but it's taking it taking place in like the entirety of Lumio City. I don't exactly know how to feel about that. I I mean I, I'm excited, but I'm more confused than anything. 
Like, how is that gonna play out? How's that story gonna involve Zygarde? That, that's gonna be very interesting. I need to take Charizard out real quick. And boing. Yeah, there we go. Back in you go. Just to get over a gap. Alright. Cerulean Cave. I mean, if we encounter Mewtwo, we could probably try and fight it. Let's go Pokedex. Cerulean K. Let's see who can we get here. Uh, we can get Golduck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hello. Wow, hi. Um, just spawns from the ether. Sure. Here, let me bury that bit. There we go. Let's see, okay. I don't know if we have a gold bat. I think, no, we do have a gold bat. We now have Golduck fucking spawned on us. Okay, hello there. Good. Okay, you, you, you. Lick a tongue. We have a ditto. Ride on. I don't know if I have ride on though. I don't know if we have right on. Yeah, gold duck though. Let's see in the water. Just making sure. It looked it was shine it looks like it was shining, so I thought it was shine. If poly and poly wag, you can get poly wrath. You're not gonna spawn on me, are you, Polyrath? Polywag. Hey, no, no Polyrath. Let's head to the treasure room. <sighs> yeah, here's the treasure room. Okay, let's see if we have a ride on. The only thing, if we have a ride on, then the only thing we need to catch here is a Lickitung and a Snorlax. We have ride on, so Lickitung and Snorlax are all we need. While we're here, we're gonna go around Treasure Room, picking up everything. Because there's so much shit that spawns in here. Like, oh my god. You can get gold berries. If you're really lucky in that spot right there, like right here, we can get a master ball. I know right here, we can get a fossil. No, not this one. One of, the, one of these we can get a fossil. It's been a while, so I don't exactly remember which one it is. But I know one of them can give a fossil. Like, it could be either one of an, any of the three fossils in the game. So like the old amber, that, that's a Lickitung. Helix fossil, dome fossil, or the or the old amber. Could be any of them that can spawn. Alright Lickitung, slow down. Master Ball, Gold Berries, Rare Candy, Max Lore. Yeah, it is a very profitable room. 
which is why it's definitely part of the money grind. You come here, you pick up all the items, and then you go and do all the daily events. And that's like all the like all the money you need right there. There's a chance we we could catch it. There's a chance. <clears throat> the chance he has a 10% chance in here. Actually, use that in Kabuto. Yeah, there we go. Kabuto. Save us a little time. Also, Pokemon made an announcement, along with uh, Pokemon Legends ZA, that there's going to be more X and Y news. Uh, they, in the announcement, they said, oh, next Saturday, which is, you know, this Saturday, which always exciting. Let's see. <sighs> oh, a rock, though. Take Kabutops off the team. Who do we not have? We don't have a Gyarados. Yeah, let's put Magikarp on the team because we don't have Gyarados. Actually, we're gonna go catch a higher level Magikarp and do that. So we're gonna put Ekans on the team. Probably go catch like a higher level Magikarp and grind that to level 20 instead of, you know, get bring a little 5 that we bought. Ooh. Already coming out with a net positive for Pokeballs. Alright. Max revive. Over here. I think we should just reset through the ladders. Oh, I missed one. There it is. And I think these spots take 20 minutes to respawn, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not entirely sure. I think they take 20 minutes to respawn. We're just gonna keep resetting until we get a Snorlax. Uh, yeah, ideally a Snorlax. Because we could go fight the static Snorlax, but we would have to, you know, actually fight it first. This way, we don't have to fight the Snorlax, we can just catch it. Or catch a Chansey! Because we already have Chansey, but... I won't say no to a Chansey. Especially a large Chansey. That's some free XP right there. There you go. There we go. That actually gives a nice tasty XP.
Mm, yeah. It's pretty good XP. I'm pretty sure Paris evolves at level 30. This is level 24. Uh, Cubone. Where is it? Cubone is level 28. Is it Arbok that's level 30? Our box is level 22. What about Meowth? Meowth is level 28. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. A few more chancy, maybe. Get a catch combo a chancy up in here and you're just rolling XP. Especially if you just have like the double master ball throw going on. Not double master ball, but double ultra ball. Go back. No go back. Oh, hello. Large Zubat. Fancy. I'll take it. There we go. So I've been working on something. Something interesting. For... Year anniversary coming up. Which is... Approaching pretty fucking fast. Already March. Like, why is it already March? Oh my god. But yeah. I don't know what I. I don't know if I should. If I'm gonna do anything big and flashy for my one year anniversary for streaming. I'm. I'm definitely gonna do something. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll eat, maybe I'll like just get a pizza and just spend the stream eating like pizza and like a cake I buy or something. No slash. Level 16. Level, oh, days. Level 17. Also, so I mentioned this last time, but, like, as soon as I saw, actually, I didn't mention this last time, because, yeah, I, I, I didn't stream it a bit. So, as soon as I saw the Legends ZA teaser on, like, the Direct, I was, like, at work, just sitting outside, and I watched the teaser on my phone, and I was just like, oh! I instantly like, opened up Amazon and went and I bought a copy of Pokemon Y. Because I hadn't played Pokemon Y in like nine years. Come on, Jensi. Come on, Jensi. Come on, Jensi. Game? Are you kidding me? Thank you, oh my gosh. Alright. 
We ain't fucking around. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so I remember... Like, nine, ten years ago, I gave- I had a copy of Pokemon Y. I remember my dad, like, went around the country for work, and so... Ooh, flamethrower. Finally something better on Charizard than Ember. And so, like, my dad, he would travel around, like, you know, like, the country for work. I remember, like, he had a DS at the time, and I gave him my copy of Pokemon Y. And he lost it on the other side of the country. And I've not played Pokemon Y since. I've played Pokemon X. Because my little brother had Pokemon X, I had Pokemon Y. And... and I have played Pokemon X a lot, so I, I have a lot of Xerneas. But, I love you, Veltal. And I haven't played Pokemon Y in so long. And like this urge just took over me. And I just I just like stopped working, grabbed my phone, or opened up Amazon, and I bought a copy of Pokemon Y right then and there. And it came in last night. It it, it came in. And I play I remember I played it till like three in the morning. I played Pokemon Y till like 3 in the morning and I eventually passed out. I got the first badge. That's how far I am. I got the first badge. Man, I would love to stream all the games that I have on my 3DS. But in order to stream for my 3DS... In order to stream for my 3DS, we need a capture card. And those are expensive. Like, the only two options that I actually have is to... Well, there's technically three options I have. But only two that are, you know, really technically easy. There's option one, where I send my 3D out 3DS out to somebody to go mod it, and that's like 600 bucks. Or I send, or I go on like Etsy or something, and I buy a pre-modded 3DS and I stream from that, which is like 200 bucks. Still expensive, but not as much as sending it out to mod it, mod my current one. Maybe the prices are the other way around, I can't exactly remember. I just know that they're really expensive and not something I can afford right at the moment. Oh hey look at it! Hello Akin, Arbok. There we go. 30 minutes in, we have our, our second Pokemon, or third Pokemon. No, this would be fourth. That's nah, fine. There's Snorlax. No need to fight it. I'm pretty sure that's everything we need in this cave. Other than Mewtwo. Nice. I think we do go fight Mewtwo. Hmm. At the party. Arbok. Ah, Mewtwo's level 70, isn't it? Dead? I think we actually fight green right after. Should add the full party. Ah, oh, but that XP. Ah, oh, that'd be a nice XP to have. Well, first, first, let's just find Mewtwo. 
because you know we're not going to be fighting it if we can't find it. We need to go around. There it is. Max Repel. You get a lot of good stuff in Cerulean Cave. Like, like a lot, a lot. Which makes sense, because, you know, it's endgame. And you need to actually beat the whole game to get here. So it does make sense why there's a lot of good shit, but there's a lot of good shit. Polyworld. Hello, Polly World. Go this way? It's been a while since I've explored Cerulean Cave. Okay. No. We do not go that way. There's a chancy over there. Do we go here? Right where we came from. Nice spot right there. Never mind, we do not need to do that. You get there. There should be a ladder over here. What was that? Giant gold bat. Never mind. You. Ducks. All right. What's Evie got to say? <sighs> Evie knows someone's here. The only two Pokemon we don't have in this cave is Mewtwo and Poliwrath. Poliwrath should be easy. Poliwrath would be easy to get. Mewtwo is level 70. Should just be like right around here. Right over there somewhere. <sighs> yeah, let's add another member of the party. Let's add another... Well, add Venusaur. Just so we're feeling a little more safe. Oh, but is that a magic card? If that was a magic card, I'll take it. Big magic card. This is a, little, a nice little magic card. Oh, 56. There we go. That is a nice magic card. Call in player two. Is it because we're on the water? Can we not call another person because we're on the water? That might be it. Need this magic herb. There we go.
We can just rare candy that later and get our Gyarados. Let's just summon you. And say hi to you. Hello, Mewtwo. The technical final boss of the game. Second final boss of the game. Mewtwo appeared. Hello. We're gonna double team this Mewtwo. We only got five minutes. And I am going to burn it. And Mega X. I get attacked. Oh my god. The extra uh, dragon type will be. That, it adds a little bit. Ah, uh, that's five. Ooh, that's crunch. That's a critical hit. That is also some not a lot of damage. Okay, my well. Okay. All right, Georgia. Just keep hitting it. Just keep striking it down. Thunder, thunderbolt. Set up on us. Oh, is Sizzly Slide special? I think that Sizzly Slide might be special. Got some fuzzy buzz. Oh, you don't have a physical skill. Heal up Eevee. Because we're down to half our time. We are below half health. Is this some random trainer? Support trainer. Might not beat you two. No, 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 not Harden. Uh oh. This is a huge uh oh. Come on, just keep landing critical hits to be praised. Please, Evie. Slide. Flash can. Mm, 40 seconds. There's no way we're winning this one, boys.
Come on, come on. Fifteen seconds. Not sleep powder. I meant to use pedal dance, but it's not like it mattered. Critical hit. Critical hit. Critical hit. Critical hit. close. I don't know, how do you respawn me to? Oof. Take this off real quick. Pokemon, let's... Need to respawn. Ah, oh, I have to go through the Elite Four again. Oh, I'll do that off stream. I'm not gonna do that here. Oh, that hurts. Anyways, let's take out our unconscious Charizard and fly it around. Ooh, that hurts. That stinks, man. That stinks. Baddie bad. If you had baddie bad. No. Yes. Give me baddie bad. So we actually have something stab against Mewtwo. something. Let's get back to our Pokedex stuff. Let's see, we're gonna put... Where's that Magikarp? Add you to our party. And Rare Candy you real quick. Trade evolution, stone, stone. I want to get all the normal evolutions. I think we already have a dugong. No dugong? Okay. Electrode, bolt orb, magnemite. Do we have magneton? 
We should have Magneton. Where's the power plant? There's the power plant. Magneton. Yeah, we should have a Magneton already. Unless we want to go back to the power plant. Yeah, there's our Magneton. I was, I was just looking right at it. Oh my god. Let's just go down. I don't think we have... We have Eradicate. I know that. It'd probably be easier to look at our actual Pokedex. Let's see. Pikachu, Viridian Forest. Let's just go grab that now. We're just gonna catch everything and then we're gonna go and start doing evolutions. I think that'll be the easiest way to do it. grab it. Pikachu, we're coming for you. I'm pretty sure Pikachu is the only Pokemon we don't have in Viridian Forest. Birds. Excuse me, birds. There we go. Viridian Forest. We need Pikachu. Bugs. Just bugs on bugs. Beedrill. Do we have Beedrill? I know uh, Beedrill is a rare spawn. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab it just to have a level 6 Beedrill. Six B drop. Nice. All right. Now we actually need Pikachu. I think the, probably the easiest way to get Pikachu. It's funny. We got Bulbasaur before we got Pikachu. Like, wow. Okay. Hello there. Little dude. Big dude. Come with us real quick. Sure, Sand True is a version exclusive. Yeah, Sand True is version exclusive. Parasect, version exclusive, version exclusive. Grimer is also a version exclusive. Angola. Okay, okay, south of, of here, Pallet Town. Let's go get Tangela. Can we fly out of the forest? Aww. 
Yeah, you can't fly out of the forest. Let's go. Let's go grab Tangela. We've gotten everything we need here. Um. Are you sure you want to fight? Like, are you sure, sure you want to fight? Cool. Umbreon's technical signature move, baddie bad. You love this it yet. Let's actually get out of the forest. Didn't see any shinies. We're moving on. Alright, we need to go to Kanto. Not Kanto, Pallet Town. And we'll just run. It's just flying there from here just feels eh. Look at Master Trainer. Nothing we're gonna do with that. We're probably eventually gonna do some Master Trainers, probably. I definitely wanna beat the Meltan and Melmetal Master Trainers though. Those are some that I wanna try to fight. I'm pretty sure they're found in the Pokemon Mansion. Along with the Mew and Mewtwo trainer. I think. Oh, hello, Pidgeotto. That's right, Pokemon start spawning up in the sky now. Alright, Pallet Town. Tango Love. V. Bunch of rats. I don't think that resets the spawns. I think that just resets a route. Yeah, no, that's not respawning. I think we just gotta go and encounter everything. Rat. Rat. We are the rats. A rare Stangula. QRST. Stangula. You know, I can just look by grass. I'm gonna uh, search on Cerebi alphabetically for Tangela, but I can just like search grass type. Round 21. 50% chance. There it is. With the one percent chance of victory, uh, yeah, victory bell. That is a good chance. Yeah, rare, rare spawn being chancy. Cool. We already got all the water Pokemon. What if we just go throughout each of the routes, catching everything? what we don't have. Pidgeot. I don't think we have a Pidgeot. I don't think we do have a Pidgeot. 5% chance in the sky. Then sky special spawn, Dragonite, Charizard, and then the legendary bird. is also a version exclusive, which is a weird version exclusive to have. We got Vulpix. Yeah, 
I'm going throughout each of the routes. I'm looking at all the Pokemon that are there. To see what we have. We have Nidorina and Nidorino. Top 10, also Nidorina and Nidorino. 11. Mr. Mime, I know we have a Mr. Mime. Oh, not the way. Drowsy, do we have a Drowsy? Yes, we have a Drowsy. Who do we have here we can evolve? Venonat, we have a Venomoth. Meowth. Or Parasect. Cubone's in the party right now. We have Magikarp. Seal? Maybe? Maybe we just have to do all the stone evolutions at the moment. Let's throw that onto Magikarp. And while we're watching that, I'm gonna keep looking at the route to go next to Farfetch. Farfetch and Kingler. Okay, so we need to go to Route 12. Yeah, Route 12. We also get uh, Horsey and Seedra here. So we need to go Route 12, Route 13. Anyone who needs evolving? You have a Nidorino. Seal. I'll put Seal on the team just in case. Oh. Crabby, we're about to leave to go get Kingler. Pidgeotto? Yeah, Pidgeotto. Alright. Route 12, Route 13. South of Lavender. Cool. You ride. Oh, hey, look. There's the Haunter person. And the Gengar person. We're just gonna skip all the trainers and just head straight down there. Let's see, we can get Horsey, Seedra. Do we have Horsey and Seedra? Never really checked. Where are they? Oh, did I? Right there, right, right below Tangela. No, we don't. There's Seedra. Alright, Horsey Cedra. Maybe I get those two fellows on the way down. I did not want to land. There we go. 
add carp and cool Snorlax. That's not a fish. There's the old bean person. Maybe if I put on a max lure. Put on a max lure. Seedra. The rarest spawn here is our first spawn. Now play nice. No, I do not. I do not want to give up. Hello, Sleepy Kitsune. Hello, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing today? Cedra got. You're good, guys. We're chilling. Slowly, slowly but surely working up our Let's Go Pokedex. Nice GG on Cedra. Yeah. Having the rare spawn being the first spawn on the route is a really nice thing to happen. Though it did worry me a little because it spawned like right on the border between Route 12 and Route 13. I didn't know if it was going to despawn. Hello, Marowak. Another one for the deck. Okay, we need to get Horsey. We need to get Kingdra. Streamer luck. It hits occasionally. <laughs> I, I will not deny that it it hits occasionally. Yeah, horsey king no kingler. A kingdra kingdra. Horsey Kingler and then Farfetched are the last ones for these routes. And horsey. Streamer luck is a thing? I believe it. I I I don't doubt streamer luck is a is I don't doubt its existence. Get, get over here. Hiding in the corner. Come on. There you go. Like, I think my best, like, example of streamer luck that I've had was probably... Back when they did the uh, Eevee event in Scarlet and Violet, I did a stream of shiny hunting Eevees. From I don't know how stream luck works, but you know it just does. It's a mysterious thing. It, it it triggers whenever it wants, I guess. Like you're gonna get good luck today, or you don't. It, it's literally just like a 50/50 shot, I guess. It's all the water Pokemon. Be over there. I always forget this route even exists, because like I don't I never go on this route whenever I'm playing through the story. So I always forget about it. Hello beauty Lola. Chansey, that's nice. I'm gonna electrocute your Chansey with my funny bomb. Because Eevee is absolutely busted in this game. Wow. <laughs> Not as much damage as I want, or I was expecting. But yeah, like I was saying, I think my biggest example of stream I've ever had. Playing Eevee's Jello just for a thousand times. Understandable. <sighs> How many times have I restarted? I don't know. At least a couple times. I can say it for that for sure. One thing I have restarted recently, I haven't, I haven't played in like 10 years or so, is Pokemon Y. Because like the new uh, news for Pokemon ZA 
in whatever new Pokemon X and Y news they have coming out this Saturday. Like, I, like as soon as I saw the announcement for that, Eevee's moves you get from that one guy, I know. Eevee is just insane in this game. Like, a special move for each evolution. Oh, Shroom died? Shroom died. Did it? Everything's looking okay on my end. Your has been terrible lately? Ah, okay. My, my bad. Well, I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry about that. I remember when I first moved, I had, I had like terrible internet in my room. Like, everywhere else in the house had decent internet, except for, you know, like I said, in my room. So I had to buy like my own little booster thing and plug it into my computer in order for it to work. I had my own little modem sitting behind my monitor over there. Though, for like the longest time, I couldn't figure out how to work it, so I just like dealt with the terrible internet. Just streamed in like 144p for like a month or two. So I figured out how to work it. <laughs> you just gotta replace your modem. The booster fried. Oh, wow. Fried during a thunderstorm. Never heard that happen. I can fry during a thunderstorm itself? Oh my god, Pidgeotto. I didn't know the modems can like, fry like that. Wow. Huh. I'm just gonna fly away and fly back. Fly away and fly back. Okay. New thing to note. Unplug modem during thunderstorm. But a short story from the lightning powerful. Okay. I gotcha. That is a little unlucky, I, I I hate to say it, but Wow. Pokemon ah, freak over there. I, I hate his design. I've never really had that happen. I've never, like, my modem's never short sorted or anything. And the booster shows no sign of life. Ah. Uh, the whole thing just kind of went kaput. Gotcha. Did you? Did the lightning bolt the pole? Wow. That's... I've never had any lightning, like, hit anywhere close by me. Actually, there was one time I've had lightning strike close by me, but it didn't... wasn't even, like, relatively close. Super bad. Loud. Ooh. Yeah, light, lightning is just really loud. I've never had any up close like that. I've seen some up close by like like videos and stuff, but I've never actually experienced one happening right in front of me. Don't think you've heard anything out loud. I I bet. Like the loudest thing that I've probably heard is just like a firework firework going off in my ear. That's like the loudest thing I've had. But I don't, I don't think I could... Yikes. Gotta worry about that from now on. Come on, far-fetched. You have soundproof walls. The loudest thing you've heard would be way louder. 
Damn. How would be? Hey, I guess you are kind of lucky you had like soundproof walls for that then. It would be way worse, like you said. But the closest I think I've seen. Well, I didn't see it, but the closest Thunder Strike I've had to me was like back when I was like 12. Like, struck the roof of one of my neighbor's houses, like a few houses down. Like, busted eardrums or something. I don't know. But, yeah, just like a few houses down is like the closest I've gotten to having a lightning strike, like, right next to me. Still close, but not like right outside your house close. Fetched acquired. All we need is a killer. But yeah, I, I've seen videos of like thunder strikes landing. And, like they're they're pretty loud, but I've never actually heard one up close like that. Or once you had earplugs to drown out the noise and remember the same loud car drove by. Here as loud as the lightning. Damn. So it was like made like your ears all sensitive and stuff, I guess. Sensitive to the noise. As I hope maybe. I don't know. I mean, hopefully your ears are alright. Hopefully this didn't do like any lasting damage. Don't want any of that. I mean, ideally nothing happens. Oh, you have permanent eyes? Yo. That makes two of us. Has sent you a child. Oh, okay. like you were born with it. Like I all. Too much like me. Ah, okay. Like I also have tinnitus myself, but I got it. Like I mentioned earlier, I had a like. like a, I said like the loudest thing I heard was a firework going off. Yeah, it was heavy metal music. Gotcha. Like I mentioned earlier, the loudest thing I heard was a firework going off in my ear. It was a few years ago, someone that I used to hang out with on New Year's, not New Year's, it was 4th of July, lit like one of those ladybug fireworks that like spin in place and shoot up into the sky. He lit one of those like right next to my ear when I wasn't paying attention. And now I have constant ringing and buzzing. And it was like... Almost three years ago now, that was. Sorry to hear. Uh, well, I hear the buzzing, so that's fine. Uh, it, it's not that insane. That, I mean, it's not that bad. But I mainly like keep like an earbud in listening to music to drown out the buzzing. Going to sleep is hard, though. You know, it's constantly the <gasps> Streamer luck! Oh my god! I've, I've never had an Articuno spawn in the wild like this. I've never had an Articuno spawn in the wild like this. Oh my gosh. Where are you aiming? Wait, spawns like yes, it, yes, they stop moving. Where are you aiming? There. Yes. So in the sky, there are five rare spawns that can happen: Dragonite, Charizard, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. 
And I've never... Like, this is how you can get shiny ver... Aim the ball, right? This is how you can get shiny versions of the three. You can have them spawn. Where are you aiming? Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. I need, to, I need to get rid of that shield. Yeah. But, like, it is insanely rare for one of them to spawn. Get rid of the shield. What? Stop it! I'm barely moving my arm! I'm barely moving my arm and it's like sending it to the. It's like across the world. Articuno! <laughs> Articuno! Oh my gosh! I... Nice! I, 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 I... Okay. I'll take it. Number caught two. <laughs> Sure. I, I we're in the game by the way. Uh we've beaten the game. Beaten the game already. Right now we're just looking for Pokedex. Yeah, you can only fly up in the sky like this once you beat the game. So that's what we're doing. Looking for Kingler. Probably can just like evolve. We have a Krabby, so we can probably just evolve it. Going Pokedex? Yeah. We're at... I think a hundred? A hundred something? Where are we at in our Pokedex? One oh six. Let's see, we have... Five? No, 45 left? Yeah, I've seen 141. There's 10 Pokemon I haven't seen. One of them, Mew, that's not gonna be possible for a while. We've encountered Mewtwo, but we failed the encounter. Um... Yeah, Meltan and Melmetal. That took a while. Like, I spent like a week straight just con- No, it didn't take a week, because like every t you In order to get Meltan, I don't know if you know it or not, but you have to like, have a certain event item from a while back in Pokemon Go. And I just so happened to do the event so I can get that- Get, you know, Meltan and Melmetal. I spent like a few weeks doing that. It took forever. And you can get a free Meltan for Sword and Shield. Yeah, you, you can get a free Meltan. I know there was a free Mel Metal event. I don't know if it's still ongoing. I can probably check. Mel Metal? Metal? Ah. Let's see. Look. Alright, I'm on 15. I need to remember that number. Let's go. Let's see. I don't know. Mel Metal. It's only for Sword and Shield. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, the, the, the 2022. Pokemon Go Transfer, Pokemon Home. Yeah, it's a Wi-Fi gift in Pokemon Home with no end date. And it's a Gigantamax Mel Metal. So we could, I could do that. No, I already have it. Double Iron Bash, Hyper Beam, Dynamic, Dynamic Punch, Thunder Punch. 
So yeah. I do have that mill metal. Articuno. <laughs> I'm still I'm still I'm still caught up on that. But you missed that? The Gigantamax one? The, G the Gigantamax one doesn't have an end date. I don't know what are you saying? Uh. I was talking about the Mel Metal event. Going for Pokemon Home. Oh, you missed everything. But, oh, my bad, my bad. But yeah, the... Melmetal event happened on... It was like 2022 where that happened, where it had the Gigantamax Melmetal that you can just get for free. I think that's the one that we were talking about. Here we need... We need Two? Three Eevee? I think we need two. Let's see. Yeah, two Eevee. Can it be transferred to some of the others? I believe it can. Should be able to see if it can. Let me see. Like, I don't see why not. But I think Sword and Shield is the highest that Mel Metal can go right now. I don't know if you can transfer it back to Let's Go. I'm not entirely sure. But I know Mel Metal is not in Scarlet and Violet, which is a little sad. Now, back out. Why would, why would you not put Mel Metal? Let me set the spawn real quick. Looking for Eevee. I'm just gonna take the Pokeball Plus off. Cause I have it like wrapped around my wrist. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Repel. Not a repel of a max lore. Yeah, I would love to see Mel Metal in like the super HD metallic texture that you got that we have in like Scarlet and Violet. That would be so good. But you know, Mel Metal's locked to Sword and Shield. You know, oh, Eevee. with, uh, what's it called, X and Y getting remakes, we'll ha have, like, the entire national of X on, you can transfer to something else. I think, I believe it can. I didn't see anything saying that it couldn't, but I also didn't see anything saying that it so I, I would take it with a grain of salt. Just a pinch of sodium.
So I'm pretty sure the only games that you can bring Mel Metal is Pokemon Go, Sword and Shield, and then Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah. Those are the only games that you can be transferred to. Just had to make sure. One more Eevee. The G-Max one? Oh, the G-Max one, I don't think that can be transferred into Let's Go. I think that stays in Sword and Shield. Because, like, I believe it's Gigantamax Pikachu and Gigantamax Eevee. That can't be transferred into uh, Scarlet and Violet. Like some Gigantamaxes cannot move up, so I wouldn't see why they can you know move down. Oh, hey, look, Jesse and James. Yeah, I, th I think it's locked to Sword and Shield. I think if you wanted to get one, you'd have to, like, get your own for a Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. But they never did a rerun of the Melmetal uh, item event. So there's no- I don't think there's a way to get it again. It'll take forever to evolve Mel. Yeah, Melmetal- ugh, Melmetal is so annoying to actually evolve to get. Because first you have to transfer Pokemon from Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. No. Oh, wait, is that an Eevee? That's an Eevee. You have to transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee during the time of the event. Then it would give you the mysterious box item. Then you open that, and it's only open for an hour? Is it not going now? No, you can't get the box anymore. Yeah, Melmetal is not available to get. And you would use the item to open to spawn Meltan in your Pokemon Go for an hour. And in order to evolve Meltan, you need 400 Meltan candy. And you can only evolve Meltan into Melmetal in Pokemon Go. So even if you got a Meltan outside of Let's Go Pikachu, outside of Pokemon Go, you wouldn't be able to evolve it. Which is a little annoying. You gone. Like in like it would make sense if they had Melpan and Melmetal in Scarlet and Violet, because they introduced a new item in Scarlet and Violet to evolve Duraludon into Archaludon, the Super Alloy. Or Alloy, I think it's, it is. I think it's Super Alloy. But it's like a, a mysterious lump of metal. And that and it only evolves Ar uh, Duraludon to Archaludon. And like, it would make sense if like, there was like a little side event where you can get a Meltan and evolve it into Melmetal. It would give you a way to get Melmetal and Meltan outside of Pokemon Go. But I understand why they wouldn't do that to make people actually play Pokemon Go. But if you don't have that event, you're just kind of screwed. Let's see. 18 or 19... Lapras we already have. I'm, I'm just going through all the... I have Cerebi pulled up on the side. I'm just going through all the routes. Seeing what we have and we don't have. We have Gyarados. I want to catch everything. Can't get Mel Metal. Unfortunately, it's... I mean, if you do the Pokemon Home event, you can get Mel Metal and Scarlet and Sword and Shield. Because that doesn't have an end date. So... As long as you got Pokemon Home and a decent enough internet connection. 
action. Oh, you have sword? Nice. So you should be able to get Mel Metal. I don't know how you trigger said event, but you can get Mel Metal. I think we. You have home? Nice. And that is a Mel Metal for you. Even Eevee's happy for you. Alright, let's go get a catch combo real quick. Maybe you'll get a catch combo of 31. But I will buy some Pokeballs first because we are running low. We can get a Dragonite. Because... If you get a catch combo of 30, see 31 or 32, I can't remember. It increases the chance of uh, rare spawns, and Articuno is one of those rare spawns. But what route is this? 22, Route 22? The only special spawns are <clears throat> Charizard and Dragonite. So we get a catch combo. That's a guaranteed Dragonite right there. Alright. Let's grab... some other dudes. I'm gonna grab Kingler. Not Kingler, Krabby. Where's Krabby? There's Krabby. Add you to the party. Over Marowak. And then our Articuno that we caught. Because Articuno. I'm gonna put them up here at the top of the boxes. Move. Moltres. And then the static Articuno that you find. This is just a funny sight to me now. Two Articuno. I've never... I, I like... I, I've played this game... Like, I lost count of how many times I've played this game. I've never once seen a legendary bird spawn in the sky like that. Like, I've seen videos of it. I've never seen it actually happen in person. Like genuinely shocked. Very cool, yeah. It is really cool. <laughs> I'm gonna spend all my money on balls. Right, what route is this? 22. Should we try to clip the spawn? Well, the spot, the spot's being recorded, so we got that. That's fine. It has been documented. Alright, let's go get a catch combo so we can go get our Dragonite. Rat, you're the first thing I saw. We need a catch combo of rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Rat. Rat. And there's one, like, 32 rats. The genuine shock on my- I, mean, I, I looked at my model, like, as soon as I, the Articuno spawned, and, like, the genuine shock <laughs> just froze. Expressions don't really show all too well on this model. I mean, it, it is a little expressive, but it's easy. Give me rats. Give me rats. I wish to become a rat king. Where is it? I heard a rat. Ready. Ready. Really? What is up with the throwing today? 
don't know what's up with the throwing today. It's been acting weird. There was like there was a time with the Articuno that Are you kidding me? Excited for Pokemon X Y. I, have, I mean, Pokemon Z A. I have no idea what they're planning for that, but it's definitely gonna be something interesting. Cause like the entire game takes place in Lumio City, according to the announcement that they made on Twitter about it. Pokemon. Like the entire game taking place in Lumio City. Like, I was expecting, like, like exploring the Colos region around the time of the Great War that, like, AZ tells you about in X and Y. That's what I was expecting. But, based on the look of the teaser, it might be a future Legends game. Like... I remember they mentioned that, I forgot where they mentioned it, but they said that the Lumio City that you see in the teaser is not the same, I mean, it is the same Lumio City, but it's not the same time as the Lumio City in, that you explore in X and Y. So it's obviously a being a Legends game is going to be in a different time period, but it might be a future time period. Which is honestly a little exciting. I wonder if, like, move styles is gonna return. Like, strong style and agile style. I wonder if those are gonna return. Mega Evolution's returning. Everyone's happy about that. Yeah, Future Legends would be really cool to see. Ooh, what if it. What if it is a future Legends game, and like, you go to like, whatever future Sycamore's lab is, and you find books about like, never been expected to play X and Y is so, X and Y is so good. Pokeball Plus, do your job. Thank you. Yeah, X and Y is so good. But imagine if, like, you go to, like, wherever Sycamore's lab is going to be in the future. And it's probably not going to be Sycamore. Maybe, like, his descendant or something. And you find something that's, like, about, like, making robotic Pokemon. Like, referencing... I mean, it could be, like, a book on theories of stuff for Pokemon. And you find it, like, a reference to, like, the Paradox Pokemon. That would be really cool. Like making like robotic futuristic versions of like Pokemon that are going extinct or something, I don't know. Or like taking the technology that turned Genesect into what it is and applying it to other Pokemon. You would play X, Y, or Sun and Moon, but you played the others. Ah, okay. I played a lot of Y for a few years. Then my dad, when I was a, when I was younger, he lost my game cartridge for Y and another in like another part of the country. Never played it for like nine, ten years. And then when I saw the announcement, I immediately bought a new copy of Pokemon Y. So I don't have it. It's over there on my bookshelf, but I, I got a new copy of Y. I'm playing through it pretty much all night. So I'm lacking sleep because I've been playing Pokemon Y. It came in yesterday and I was so excited. 
Sun and Moon, though. I, play, I played a lot of Sun and Moon. Like, definitely up there with some of my favorite 3D titles. 3DS titles. Definitely Ultra Moon is up there. I have... There's a lot of the 2D games I don't have, but I have every single 3D game at this point, I believe. Yes. Yeah. I do have... Yeah. I have every single 3D game, like X and Y onward. As for 2D games, there's not a lot that I don't have. I have a, I have a lot of the 2D games, but they're mainly like the uh, like the downloaded ones that you can get on the 3DS shop before it closed. Like, I have Red, I have Yellow, I have Crystal, I have Heart Gold, Soul Silver, I have... White? White's the one with Zek. Yeah, White's the one with Zekrom. White. I have Platinum. And I think that's it. I've played some of the Generation 3 games Fire Red, Leaf Green, and, uh,. Yeah, Fire Red Leaf Green and Ruby Sapphire Emerald, I've played them before, but only as like an emulator on like a school computer from years ago. So, never really actually had the games themselves. I have a lot of Pokemon games. I want to have every single one of them at some point, but they're ex they get expensive. Like, just the copy of Pokemon Y by itself that I bought was like 50 bucks. Which, I think a normal 3DS game is like 40. Which, it's not that much more expensive, but it's a little more expensive, you know. I think it was like 56 dollars total, including shipping, all that jazz. Shipping, tax, all that jazz. I think. I bought it a few weeks ago, it only just arrived, so. That's fine. Where are the rats? I have a catch combo of nine. Where are my rats? We'll reset the area. Speaking of 3DS titles and the upcoming whatever they're planning for, you know, X and Y uh, this Saturday, I really would want to stream X and Y, mainly Y. I would love to stream it, but I would have to get a modded 3DS in order to do that. But that is like, like way too expensive. That is like at least $600 right there to mod a 3DS. It is insane. But yeah. Yeah, it, it is really expensive. You could probably like pay and buy and for the stuff and do it yourself like way cheaper. But I am not that tech savvy with all that I I I would be I'd be too scared to break it to break my 3ds. Yeah. Like part of it, you have to like install a, like a plug into the back of your 3ds. And you have to like drill a hole through 
part of the like casing. I would be too scared to do that. I, I, I even if I take it off, I would be too scared. I would put it in like the wrong spot. I, I just like just have it. I didn't even move my hand. Rats, I swear. They're just regular Pokeballs. I don't really care about them. I know you can buy pre-modded 3DSs on like Etsy or something, but those also are like insane, insanely priced. There are some programs you can download on your DS to like stream with, from it without having to, you know, connect like an actual, like actually modding it without having to do that. But it is... Apparently it's not that great. It's not recommended. Like, I would love to play, like, Pokemon Y, Omega Ruby. Omega Ruby was my first Pokemon game, so I would love to play that. Maybe one day, I'll, like, spend the almost thousand dollars on a modded 3DS. Maybe one day. But that day's not today. Definitely not today. Like, Omega, Omega Ruby was my first game. I remember, I, th I think I got it the year it came out. That's when I first got into Pokemon. I remember my first actual experience with Pokemon was with... I believe it was black to white to in like elementary. I remember I saw one of my friends at the time playing it on his 2DS. I was like, yo, that's so cool. And I was just like instantly captivated by it. Like everybody had it, everyone was playing it. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And it just kind of like spiraled into this big Pokemon addiction. Remember, I had the cards before I had any of the games. I think I still have my first Pokemon card. So I remember my very first Pokemon card was this one, like, horsey card that I found that had, like, a big Sharpie mark through the back. It was, no, it was a highlighter mark. Big, like highlighter streak through the back of the card that like, like I think I got it from some of the kids in the neighborhood like he was like oh I'm too old for Pokemon cards or whatever I'm like I'll take them the beginning of an addiction and it was all downhill the heaps of original Pokemon cards nice I don't think I have any of the original, original Pokemon cards. But I do have some from the re-release set that they did not too long ago. I think? Yeah. I do have the re-release version of the of the like, regular Rare Charizard, remember? Original Charizard probably never even sold it. <gasps> oh, that's evil. Oh. Oh, you just reminded me of something. Oh my gosh, there was this kid in middle school who, like, I was in the Pokemon Club in middle school. Got tied shortly after. Honestly, valid. Probably had other reasons too, but the Charizard, man. You can't get rid of that Charizard. Here, my back in middle school, I was part of the Pokemon Club, and my very first legendary Pokemon card was a half card of Palkia and Dialga. Because like a while ago, they did like a weird funky thing where they had like two cards that formed one, and it was two Pokemon on the cards, and mine was the bottom half of Palkia and Dialga EX, and 
and there was this kid who took it and sold it on eBay. And I was like, hey dude, where's my card? I know I showed you my card, and he just wasn't just the card collection type. Oh my god, I am... I am so sorry. Uh... I could not. I... I... That was five years ago. Ooh, I am... I am so sorry. That... that... Cool Dragonite, but that that hurts. I could not. I I would actually break down if we would have love. Yeah. Yeah. One premier ball. That that. Like, if somebody sold my entire Pokemon card collection, I would actually break down and just cry. Because I've been collecting these cards since I was like... How old was I when I started? Probably like... 9, 10? Turn it into money of the time space. My, my apologies. I, I... I'm, 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 I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. I'd definitely break down if somebody sold my entire park Pokemon card collection. Like I said, I've been collecting these for like nine, ten years or so. And I'm like, Okay, but I don't think I'll ever get over it. Yeah, there's, there's no way you know, I would be able to either. I have like nine, eight, nine thousand cards at the moment. I would actually, actually just break. No, it bounced off. You saw that. Breaks our catch combo of rats. Uh, if a Pokemon runs away from you, it breaks your catch combo. <sighs> Square one. Rat King, return. So yeah, that happened. <laughs> I'm at least it didn't happen with the Articuno. Let's 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 just state this now. I'd rather lose the Dragonite than lose the Articuno. So at least we got that. So We're good. We can always get another Dragonite spawn. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Cash combo of two. Let's go. Is that a Pidgeot? Pidgeot? Oh, don't make me catch another Pidgeot. Don't make me catch a Pidgeot. 
That's a Pidgeot. <laughs> sure. It's not gonna make me feel better for the Dragonite, but... Pidgeot. Throw a cold berry at it. At least we got something for the Pokedex. There we go. Is that Meowth evolving? No, Meowth evolved to level 28. Right? Level it's either 27 or 28. I think it's 28. Yeah, it's 28. You know, we're gonna catch combo of birds, because the birds are more common. We're doing a catch combo of rats. <laughs> They're like, no, you will catch us more. You will become the rat king. The Rattata King. I make jokes about Rat Kings and stuff, but actual Rat Kings are genuinely terrifying. Cause like, they're like a bunch of rats that got their tails all tangled up and stuff, and just move as one big entity, and it is genuinely freaky. Like, I, I, I don't, I, uh, it, it gives me chills. And there's a rat. But yeah, I don't think I finished the story. Yeah, my first legendary Pokemon card, that half card I mentioned. Uh, I was in the Pokemon Club, and like, a bunch of people's cards were going missing, and then we caught, and some of mine went missing too, that legendary card I mentioned. We caught this kid, like, leaving one day with a bunch of Pokemon cards in his hand that he took from other people, and everyone was like, hey, give those back. And they basically just jumped him and took all their cards back, because you do not mess with somebody's cards. You, I'm pretty sure you can vouch for that, you don't mess with somebody's cards. And like there were some cards still missing. Like, where, where's the rest of the cards, dude? He's like, oh, I sold them. And everybody freaked out on this dude. Like, the instant, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of the people there wanted to just beat up this other kid that was there. This was like middle school. But the worst that he got was like kicked from the Pokemon Club, just perma banned. I remember going on Etsy that night and seeing my card there up on Etsy because there was a crease on it that that folded like right, right over the number and the card on Etsy had that crease. I'm like, that's my card! But there was nothing I can do to get it back. And it's, it, it's just long gone. Oh, I don't know if you heard it. That was my neck. Wow. I have a bunch of other rare cards and other legendary cards. I got a whole binder over there with all my legendary cards, but I still remember that one half card. It, it sticks, yeah. Still can't get over it. Pidgeotto, but it's only a Pidgeot. Even if it was a Pidgeot, I probably wouldn't catch it. Because we're catching rats. 
I just grabbed my phone charger. Throw that on. Six rat. We're just gonna keep going till we get either another Dragonite or we hit the 31. Where's the rat? Here's the rat. Other Pokemon card stories I got. None really. No real other Pokemon cards. I do remember though, in that very same Pokemon club that I mentioned in middle school, like, there was this dude who had like this giant like, life-sized Mew plush. That shadow. That was a Pidgeot shadow. You evil game. Yeah, there was a dude who had a uh, life-sized Mew uh, plush. And he was like, hey. See, hey, uh, that, that, like... What was it called? The big cards. So... You know, I think they still do it. They sell, like, big booster boxes with, like, the giant, like, Pokemon cards in it. That's, like, five times the size of a normal card. So, he's like, hey, I'll trade you this giant plush if you give me one of your big cards. I'm like, I'm down. And so, it was, like, one of the, I think it was a, oh, what big card was it? I don't remember what big card it was but I traded it for the giant Mew. So, it is now my giant Mew plush. It's just sitting in my closet with my other Pokemon plushes, because I have nowhere else to put it. Yeah, I also have a life-size Chespin. I forgot where I got that. I think I also got that from somebody in the Pokemon club. Need to be on the bed. There's no room on the bed. I have a bunch of pillows. Even if I did put it on the bed, it would just like roll onto me. I have way too many pillows. Eight pillows? Four me with lonely. They're not lonely. They got they got all the other plushes hanging out over there on my on my dresser in the closet. Like I like my my closet's like a like a small like like little little like tiny. Mm. It's a walk-in closet that's like just barely big enough to fit my dresser in. It like cuts the closet in half, but on top of my dresser is like it, like it makes so much more room, my actual room. But. I have all my plushes, like, stacked up there together on my dresser, hanging out. Except for a few, though. A few plushes I have, actually, on my bookcase right here, I have an Eevee, and I have my Umbreon plush on my dresser. Because Umbreon is my number one favorite Pokemon, so he gets the front center. I have a bunch of Umbreon stuff. Umbreon is like, like I mentioned, my number one favorite Pokemon of like all time. Like, I have a little diorama right here, like a little, like I bought it at a convention, like a little plastic Pokeball with, like, it's obviously like makeshift and stuff. It has like a little Umbreon figure in it. I have an actual Umbreon action figure next to it. I have like a bunch of po uh, Umbreon Pokemon cards. I have Umbreon plushes, I have like six Umbreon pins, I have an Umbreon shirt, and I love Umbreon. I have like two shiny Umbreon in my casual file and one on on our stream. The file upon on stream, I think it's in Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, my shiny Umbreon is in Scarlet and Violet. I haven't played Scarlet and Violet in months.
now that I think about it. I think the last time I played Scarlet and Violet was in the DLC came out. Like, if, like, I did like a good few, like, week or so. I did, I did, I did some streams after. I, I think I beat the, I completed the Pokedex and did some shiny hunting. And then some legendary hunting in Scarlet and Violet. And then I stopped playing it so I can play other Pokemon games. I haven't touched Scarlet and Violet in a minute. And what combo are we at? I'm pretty sure for catch combos, it increases the odds of special spawns spawning every 10 catches. But it's 11, 21, and 31 increases the odds. It also increases the shiny odds of that Pokemon you're catching. So that's good. If we find a shiny rat, then we find a shiny rat. Rat. Rat number 14. I don't know if it's counted as a rare card, but I do have an Ancient Mew card. Like from the Pokemon movie one. I don't know what... It's right here. Yeah, right here. I have like in a little... I have like in a little case, a little, little acrylic case that it just slides into. So I can just like display it on my desk. I had a Mewtwo card, but I got scammed. How did you get scammed? <laughs> Son of a bitch, you're back! Uh, original Mewtwo card? <gasps> how did how did you get scammed out of an original Mewtwo card? Not getting away this time. Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. Why? Wow, oh, they're like. I would give you a whole collection of cards for the YouTube card. I mean. I can kind of see that why that would be appealing. Giving an entire collection for a single card. Come on, Dragonite. Apparently, it paid for his college degree. Wow. I mean, making well over 10 years. Wow. Something insane to think about. A Pokemon card paying for your college. Huh. That is an interesting thought. Anything else fair? No, just Charizard. So 20 years? Wow. So like, I think I was in the cards. Let's do them for right now. How much would be worth it? Original Mewtwo, you said. Set. 
How much was that? The highest? The highest I'm seeing right now is like $400, but that doesn't seem right. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Two, oh, five. Some are selling for like 2,000, some for like 4,000, some for 10k. Like the lowest graded, like ungraded card. I'm talking about the graded cards. Ungraded, uh, like, like it's like base three hundred dollars. The lowest grade you can get, grade one, two hundred twenty dollars. The highest you can get, almost twelve k. I can see that paying for college. Holy shit. Like, I knew they ran high, but not that high. Wow. It makes me want to look through my collection to see if I have any rare cards, because I don't know how much my collection is worth. Ah, oh, it's a funny cat. Well, damn! Wow. Grading a card is not that expensive to do. That, that's insane. That, that is like genuinely insanity right there. I regret it trading. Yeah. Honestly, I would, I would also regret doing that trade. something. Oh my god. On the same type of Mewtwo card as top 10 rarest cards. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's definitely going to be up there. When I saw that I think I saw that too, the top 10. Let me see. Where is that? Oh my goodness. That's the hollow rare. It's rockets me too.
right now. Nineteen ninety nine Pokemon Me Two First Base Set Edition. I'm just doing like Control C and Google that. Do a card that pulls up. First edition. Ooh. Where is clear as day? Wow. Yeah, highest graded. This is the one oh, this is the one I was looking at just a second ago. Choose either Ancient Mew or Mewtwo. I, 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 I think I would have chosen Mewtwo if it were me. I mean, the Ancient Mew card, because I probably looked cooler. I pro I didn't know any, they were just handing it out. I probably would have taken the Ancient Mew. Because, you know, I probably would have been like a dumb kid. But with the knowledge now, you know to pick that Mewtwo card. Wow. I should probably look at my YouTube cards. I don't think I have a first edition, but it would be interesting to see if I did. How much did we get in the Pokedex today? I wasn't really paying attention. God! Like 10, 10, 20 Pokemon? Not bad. If yours is in first edition, maybe or something. Yeah, you you never know. You never know. I do have a bunch of like like Pokemon Worlds cards. Like I have one from like 2016 Worlds. I think it's a Genesec. Let me see. Let me see. It's not a Hoopa. No, it was 2014. It was 2014. Yeah, that's the back I remember. You two cards are highly sought after and rare. Yeah. World Championship. Yeah, World Championship 2014. Deoxys, that's the one. Oh. <laughs> the Deoxys card I have is worth $34 at most. Sold in July 2023 for 35k. Yikes. That is a high price for a slab of cardboard. Is getting pretty late, so I gotta cut it off here, though. Unfortunately. But I had fun. I had fun talking Pokemon. I will be streaming again tomorrow, and uh, what day is it? It's Monday, Tuesday. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm streaming tomorrow. Doing Elden Ring. Different. I'm trying to beat a boss. And then Wednesday, we're gonna be starting brilliant diamond so yeah that's what we're doing tomorrow the day after thank you for stopping by i had a lot of fun and i was never good at ending streams goodbye <laughs>